always special. Nobody can't beat Jay-Z. If Hova come outside on stage with that damn tuxedo on, game is solidified, it's a wrap. The mythology that is Jay-Z is so incredible. It's the 10th anniversary of something huge. My favorite hip hop album. Reasonable doubt. Undoubtedly. This Best rap ever. Yeah. We're going to touch a lot of people today. I know that. Jay, we love, love you. In the summer of 96, the music industry opened the floodgates. Thousands of hustlers come from all over the place to make their millions. One of them stood out the most above all. He was Jay Z. What's up? I did a concert with. I really just wanted to do something special. I put my all into that album. That was the album that changed my life. The 10th anniversary was coming up on it, and I was like, I'll do something special, something celebrated. You're gonna do Radio City, you're gonna do an orchestra. Then everyone's gonna wear tuxes, I'm gonna wear a white one. I was cramming days leading up to rehearsal. I was cramming because Reason Doubt is a very worthy album. You know, it's it's a lot of these couplets that just go on and on. And you want a better so we don't touch letters that chat us forever, live tragic is all these set of us to the death of us. It just keeps going. These couplets are just going, going on. So it was difficult to learn all these words again, to relearn them. It was fun, it was challenging. So I was like really cramming for a test to learn these uh, up until the last day. It's gonna be different, but it's gonna be hot. Sounds wonderful, it's right? So, it's just so much fun, isn't this it? This sounds pretty incredible. It's such an amazing sort of combination, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. You know, we started doing it with Kanye, uh -huh. and he just got so excited in the studio. Yeah, yeah. It was brilliant, it was like, this, this works. Yeah. You know, it really works, and it's lovely, because it's so new. That's right. You no know, one's doing it. Great. So well done for having the confidence to Stretching the job out. Yeah, stretching baby. <laughs> I found a brilliant team, you know, the wonderful and the beautiful conductor. We had a little bit of rhythm and everything, so I had to have uh, Quest Love from The Roots. Everything just worked out. It was one of those nights that was supposed to happen. Give me a second. Let me let me soak it all in. Give me a second. I was excited about um, doing Radio City, right? And I know that the, the last time we did the garden, it sold out in like eight minutes, ten minutes. I was hoping that it would sell out. I was thinking, you know, maybe the garden. I didn't even know it was possible to sell out in two minutes. So I never had that in mind. And that was like, wow. Every time you go out and you do one of these things, you think it's going to do well. You know, you think you're going to do well. But then when it happens, it's so rewarding. Like, it's like, are you kidding me? Like, it's, it's humbling and it's rewarding at the same time. I find myself reminiscing. Remember this one? When he was here, he was crazy nice with his son. I miss him. Long as I'm living, he's living through memories. He's there to kill all my suicidal tendencies in heaven, looking over me. Or in hell, keeping it cozy. I'm coming like one of these streets ain't what it's supposed to be. Remember Newton, mutual friend with me and him feuding. I'm taking it all the way there tonight, baby. Please believe that. And I'm just glad to be a part of history. There ain't no butterflies, ain't none of me. We home. We in New York, man. You know what I mean? They, they came to see us do our thing, so that's what we got to do. And no one's done it before. Yes. Uh, it's history in the making tonight, mate. History in the making. So much going through my mind. The fact that I drove a 1996 Lexus on Radio City stage, first of all, was like, that's just gangster. Right, that was the first thing. The second thing is like, I'm performing Reasonable Doubt to the most beautiful strings that you can find. And I'm, I'm saying the, the craziest lyrics. <laughs> the juxtaposition of these two things was just, it was crazy. I love it. That was just, that's just my type of humor, right? That's just the sarcasm that you know, I, I get off on. It was just great. 
sold it all from dope to OPM And third person, I don't wanna see him So I'm rehearsing with my people how to GM From a remote location in the BM Scoping the whole situation like, damn Metamorphic as the dope turns to cream But one of these buyers got eyes like a Korean It's difficult to read them The windows to his soul were half closed I put the key in, pulled on slow Hoping my people flee in Chink try to knock the only link to top me in Coppers was watching us through nighttime binoculars This time they got us on tape exchanging dope for dollars Make me wanna holler back at the crib in a sauna Praying my people belt out like Tom Warner A waiting call from his kid, not the car and the phone in my hand Nervous confined to a corner Beads of sweat, second thoughts on my mind How can I ease the stress and learn to live with these regrets this time? You gotta figure everything in there was beyond anything that I imagined where my career can go, and the places I can go. And then it was for hip hop, the whole culture as a whole, to see us, because a win for me is a win for the whole culture. Every door that was open, like Russell and you know Puff and all the guys that came before me, was open, was left open for me. People could deal with me, so every door that I, I go through, I leave open. So when you go to Radio City and you have an event like that, people start looking at hip hop different. Hip hop can perform with a band. That was the first thing. Hip hop can perform with a band in a 50 piece orchestra and these beautiful strings. Like how, how is this music, how, how is that happening? It brings it to a whole nother level, a whole nother level of respect. We was going from last song, first song. I want to thank everybody that contributed to the album. I want to thank all y'all. Without that album, I'd be dead, locked up, jail, whatever. I appreciate that. Peace and love for sharing these 10 years with me. We're going to see where else we're going to take it. The vibration is just hitting everyone. We are now in overtime. I mean, the vibration of this thing, hip hop, is just, it's limitless. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's no talent. People ask me all the time, like, what's the next thing? What are you gonna do in five years? I don't know. Because if you'd have asked me five years ago, would I be playing Radio City with a 50 piece orchestra? But, I mean, you'd ask me what I was doing in five years, I wouldn't have said that. You know, so I don't know where it is. I don't know where I'm going. But I know the vibration is being felt everywhere in the world. It's the new rock and roll. Absolutely. Peace and love, I love.